been a while since we've heard that one, huh? Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, yeah, every once in a while I like to listen to some of the old songs I used to have on the channel, brings back memories. And that song brings back a lot of memories. It's basically where this all started. Not this, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, we've got some bad news today. Uh, we're not heading back to Earth today. No, we're not heading back to Earth. Today, we're going to make another tent of the spider. This time, it's not going to be 300 feet tall and weigh 700 tons. No, I want to try to do it small grid this time. Uh, I also want to try to uh, use uh, four timers on it. I was actually thinking about how it, was, how it would actually work. And it wouldn't be four timers. It would actually have to be eight. And the reason it would have to be eight is because the timer for the actual legs would have to be on a three second delay but I have to have them going one second apart so I'd be activating timer blocks in a sequence but each timer block activates another timer block so it gets like a four second cycle but one second of downtime and hopefully all eight legs are actually on the ground and yeah you know, we'll go from there uh, I don't know what I'm going to really do about a situation like that that kind of puts a bit of a damper on some of the projects I've had planned uh, one of them anyways, uh, one of them was a, an iron giant. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And it was basically supposed to be, not necessarily this, but, you know, much bigger. You know, I'm talking like 500 feet at least, you know, full-size mech suit. Uh, structural linkages in the, the legs and all that stuff that can traverse the landscape and be able to fly and all that stuff. And I'm not joking, this is something I want to do, but... You know, it's limitations, and this this game can do it, but, you know what I mean? Maybe it's just Mars. Maybe Mars has really, really soft rock. Uh, I might have to try to do something like that on, uh... Well, that's why I want to check out the other moons, too, see what kind of stuff we can do out there. But anyways, uh, yeah, I want to try a smaller version of the spider, go with a better time in on the legs and see how it goes. So let me get a few things together. Oh, yeah, I did forget to... Uh, point this out there was an update I don't know if you noticed uh, in the beginning of the video I was actually looking down look at the new displays here and it's supposed to be customizable I haven't actually checked that out I'm sure it's gonna be in here somewhere uh, yeah there we go oh look at that you can actually choose it nice and you can change the colors too that's quite interesting uh, there's also a replay tool for uh, creating animated scenes and be able to replay them all that stuff well it's kind of what I'm doing right now so it's no point in me using that and then uh, there's also decorative decorative blocks too it's a four dollar DLC mm, I might we'll see I don't know if it actually shows it, any of it in here it does what's that console block okay interesting yeah, it's just a bunch of new stuff they had for the update, which was replay to and a whole bunch of bug fixes. Anyway, I'll be right back. You know, this is the very first time I've actually seen one of these boulders. I just want to see what it actually tells me. That. Magnesium. Hmm. I didn't actually pay attention to all the change logs. But there's uh, a new pod here. I figure, you know, with the new update, maybe they changed it. They've, uh... Added new encounters, they said, too. So I don't know if that's just, like, server-side stuff or, or what. Okay. You're going to take off, aren't you? Where's your engine? You're not going anywhere. Leopard boots. I think I got that set twice. Anyway, I'll be right back. Yeah, look at this. There's one right here, too right behind us. I think I would, he definitely would have seen that. Apparently not. Was this going to be iron? Silicon. Hmm. Yeah, because he always talked about minerals in the rocks and eventually I was just figuring it had to do with the stone, but now it's apparently not. But I do have enough stuff, so now since this thing isn't big, we don't have to really go anywhere special for it. Alright, so let's start with uh, the landing gear. I had it on my bar, but I took it off. And I gotta do... 
a quick recording check. Excuse me. We are good. All right. And no, we're not going to go this big this time. No. This will be suffice. Uh, I will have to put a cockpit on it just for... There's another one over there, too. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. They're taking over my planet. My Mars. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Uh-oh. I'm lost. Uh, just want to rotate it a little bit. There we go. That'll be fine. Okay. Uh, that's what I want. All right. What color are we going to... Oh, yeah. I know what color I want to do. Uh, blocks. Yes. No. Cockpit. We'll start with the cockpit. Uh, the reason why I need a cockpit on here is uh, for the gyroscope. Uh, I do want it to be walking on its own. But I want to be able to actually steer it. So I'm going to try to use the gyroscope, the, the uh, override, to actually get uh, to move. And now I realize I'm going to have to go up a little bit higher for this, I think. Yeah, let's, let's bring it up a little bit. Not crazy tall, but enough. I'm not going to have enough room. Nope. All right, let's, let's move over here a little bit. Uh, away from any holes that I've dug. So yeah, this will do. Okay. I don't know if I actually have to fill it in or not, but I will anyways. Oh, that's the wrong block. Of course it is. Because I was banking ramps because I was tired of wasting my jetpack to get up onto my, my foundation playing this uneven Martian terrain. Okay, so now we'll put the cockpit on top. Uh, the cockpit probably won't be right in the front of it. Uh, well yeah, we're gonna go with that. I got a reactor I'm gonna put on here. I did make the components for it. That's not a reactor. That is. Yeah, it's not gonna have any storage or anything like that. This is just for power. And then we're gonna start with a base of legs. Go back to here. And it's going to be the exact same setup I had there, just a smaller ver version of it. And I think... I'm trying to figure out why I want this. I'll go one more out. And if I can get on there. And then probably same spacing. So seven blocks. Two, three, four, five, seven. And anyways, let me get a layout set up and I'll bring you back. So there's the frame. So the next part is his shoulders, which leads to the knees. And of course, from the knees, we go to the ankles or the lower knees. And from here, our last stop is the feet. And as you can see, I have gotten everything all configured now. All I really got to do is just get them in their initial starting positions. Uh, I am going to be adding four ti eight timer blocks on here, but I'm only going to be using two of them, I think. Yeah, because I want to I want to try to get this thing actually getting out of the habit of having all eight legs off the ground. So I got to go and grab my timer block here, and we'll just do one, two, three, four, five, and then another four on this side, and I'm Put them over here for a reason, because I have a feeling that the reactor is going to be a little bit heavier than the cockpit, so we're going to do it that way. And go ahead and fill these in. Alright, so now i got to get all these legs in their proper position, so let's see what's where. So I zoom out so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, so... Uh, three and four need to be switched. Or left three and left four need to be switched. So, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, shoulders three. Reverse that. Four. Oops. Reverse that. Okay. And...
I think we're actually good on the other side. Okay, now for the the, the knees. And I'm going to do this off camera just to save time. Well, I do have everything all configured. Everything is set up. I haven't set up on a single timer right now. Uh, I did adjust the uh, velocity of the knees to enough where they get to the ground in time. Uh, this thing is not going to be that heavy, so I highly doubt it's going to leave any big holes in the ground. So I'm going to do a quick save and pull up my saw. Because now we're going to do this. Oh, look. No holes in the ground. What do you know? And everything is actually still one piece. Now, what I've done is I've actually just locked the ankles for now. Just because uh, I don't really expect them to be going through too much stress considering the, the range of movement isn't really going to move them out too far but let's see what happens I've been trying to go through Tiber blocks to activate Tiber blocks like if I go through here see this I was um, Tiber block 2 was actually controlling half the legs and then so it would start that then be a delay and then go to this block which would be an empty block which loaded up another block which controlled the other legs but the timing went all out so I don't know what happened there but let's get out of here and run well, I'll be it's actually working Look, look, Ma, no holes. I'm pretty sure those tires are what's keeping this thing from tearing itself to pieces right now. That's cool. I could probably adjust the timing a little bit. Uh, like I said, I got the downward force on the legs a little fast. Just for it to work, but... Yeah, wow. Oh, let's not get stepped on here. I actually want to try something. Now, the best thing is, is I can actually control everything from the cockpit. I'm not actually driving it. It's doing its own thing. Let's see if we can go ahead and... Let's see if we can change this to one and a half seconds. See if we can actually get precise with this. And I highly doubt it. I'll be. Look at this. It's actually moving. Not very fast. And look, it still has all its original pieces. Well, this is actually a success. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't pay to go big, especially when the the landscape is like a sponge. It does tend to drift, but it's going downhill. I don't think uh, gyroscopes really can help it that much for that. But there we are. We have a very, very, very successful walking spider. And it's a better, better result than I've had in any other game. Oh, damn. I gotta walk. Yes, I am happy. I got a smile on my face. You can't see it, but it's there. And that was a surprising success. Uh, I was hoping I was hoping I didn't have to mess with the timing at all, that this really should have worked. And it did. It is actually doing pretty good. Now the question is, do we let this thing just run and see if it makes it all the way around Mars, or what? I have no idea. But there we go. Uh, that's the White Widow. I was going to... Oh, jeez. Uh, I totally forgot about that. I had a uh, White Widow. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this one here. I want to... You know, you know me. I don't usually leave projects to go with the side of I give up persistence pays off anyways thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like 
and I will see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>